Okay, I'm just going to do a follow-up um, video about these two cases I bought for the Lumia 920. Um, they're both very similar. One has this um, textured finish on the case, which is quite neat, and I like that. And the other one was a smooth case. They're both very thin. Um, they've both been quite good. Now I'm doing this in the car because I want to show this one, one of the reasons I bought these cases. Obviously I wanted them to be thin. So here's uh, my wife's Lumia in, um, in the textured sort of case. And that makes a nice dress case. Uh, it looks good. It's managed, it has actually kept its um, surface quite well. It didn't scuff. Um, I think I got a small mark up here and it sort of showed showed it as having some sort of a white plastic underneath underneath the um, finish, which is obviously applied somehow or other. So that, that's nice, that case. Fine, that's good. Um, but I bought the other case, I'll just pull it out here, um, which was the same sort of style, but uh, smooth plastic. This is the rock something or other case. Um, I bought this with something else in mind. I was desperate to find a... Um, a, you know, a uh, car, um, what do you call it? A car kit for the, um, you know, mobile phone holder for my van, right? And I tried a few of these um, accessory ones that you get. I can't stand the ones that you stick onto your screen, the big suction cup things that are completely stupid and the phone wobbles away underneath, pointless things. You can't operate them with one hand, you can't spin them duty, they're just too weak. Um, I tried one, I had a look for one that was, tried one of these ones that goes into the vents. Absolute garbage. Just complete waste of money. Don't ever get one. Not worth a penny. Um, and my car hasn't got a cup holder or anything like that. There are ones that fit into the lighter socket, but I use the lighter socket and I didn't want to use one there. Um, plus, you know, that would just end up spinning around. It's in the wrong place. Um, so the whole time I decided I really want one to be right in front of me up here on the dash somewhere. I wanted the phone. I used to take my old phone and I'd jam it in there because my Lumia 800 because it had a rubberized case and it would sort of squeak in there. I could sort of go and it would stay in place and I could just use it like that. It was really handy and it would also go there. I could put it there. Um, I could even put it like that. I'd just sort of give a little push and it would sort of go into place. And that was quite cool. Um, sometimes also I'd put it here when it's all wired up. I just shove it there and uh, I could see it, I could touch it to change my tracks or whatever I was doing, that was fine as well. But this time I wanted something better. And I always had the idea that I could use Velcro and one of these cases to attach the phone to my dash. And that's what I've done here. Now that's pretty ugly, this white stuff. But it was all I could get while I was out camping. Um, so I've got a piece there, a piece there. That's for my wife's 920, and that's for mine. All I do is on the back of this um, this 920 case, this plastic one with the smooth surface. I put these um, little Velcro patches that you can buy, and I put the soft, felty kind of surface on the uh, case. Uh, dot at the top, one either side of the uh, thing here. And what I can then do is put uh, my phone. I don't even have to do that. I can actually just attach it. To the um to the car right there basically i just come over here put it there and it's attached and it's uh, exactly where i need it to be and it takes i can leave that there all the time and i do actually i leave this this one in the car um i can get in take my phone shove it in and it's hooked up uh, turn it on there it is go up and this is not my one i'm um, going to music and uh, start listening I haven't got Bluetooth on this stereo, I've only got uh, a lead here, but still, I can plug that in and there we go, I'm ready to go. Um, if I need power, I do actually have power coming out of my um, lighter socket down here. That goes to one of these little um, uh, lighter so socket extender and the thing with a couple of USB sockets. And that's just got a lead in it and I can plug that in as well. Um, I only needed that when I was traveling because the GPS the um, sat nav, you know, Nokia Drive actually used a lot of power, um, but was really useful. And so, so this is fun, you know, go in there, listen to the music, do whatever you need to do. Um, also cool, of course, is the, I uh, don't know where it is on my wife's phone, there. The all-important 
Nokia Drive. We love this, we used it heaps. Destination, favorites, no, nope, she has no favorites. Recent, okay, let's go to Wellington, which is where we are. Start. After 300 meters, turn left. And there we go, that all happens through the stereo. Really good, I loved having the uh, speed indicator. I loved having it um, tell me when I went a couple of kilometers over the speed limit. That was really useful as well. Whole thing, really useful like that, within reach. Um, you can operate the phone really, really well. Um, if you need to, I'll just cancel out of here. If you need to, say you're watching a video, I don't know if you've got any videos on here. Um, but if you had a video on here, as I do, the point of those extra, um, extra Velcro dots is to take this off and put it, put it that way, and uh, bingo, you can uh, have a video on. The sat nav also works in that um, orientation, of course. There it goes. That works perfectly well like that. It's very nice. It says I'm doing. I don't know what that's saying. Um, so in any case, that that is the point of the Velcro. And even though it seems like it's not holding on by much, it's and it wobbles, which is fine. It doesn't really wobble while it's driving. It's certainly a lot sturdier than the other things I tried. Um, it's quite hard to get off. It's only holding on with a little dot, like that. But once you stick it on, it's, it's not hanging by much, but to pull it off... Oh, hang on. Oh, <laughs> that's pulling it off downwards. Um, the only drawback with this whole system I found is that at first I used the opposite pieces of these little black Velcro squares up here. So I didn't want to mark the car, I didn't want them to be very visible. And so I put a little black Velcro square there. And that was great, that worked fine. Um, but in the heat, we left our phone, you know, leave your phone in the car in the heat. We came out, my wife left hers on that, and we came back and the whole thing had gone to the floor, hadn't it? Fallen to the floor and the dots had come off and they just wouldn't stick anymore. And so I went back to the shop, bought this um, more Velcro in a stripe, and just made sure that we didn't leave the car, phone in the car with the, uh, with it on in the heat. Um, if you're not living in a sweltering heat, that's not gonna matter anyway. Um, the whole point is, this is a really useful system. Really fun. It's the best uh, car holder that I can think of. Just get in, stick it on, and of course you get out, you know, you walk away with it like that. It only takes a second. No problem. Um, if I did it again, I'd just get a better, um, you know, we'd get a dark piece of um, sticky, which I will. I'll replace it sometime. Uh, okay, I think that's all I needed to say about these cases. They've both held up very well. I still recommend both of them. I prefer the textured one for, for work. Um, and the other one for do putting in the car like this. In all truth, though, the last two or three weeks, I haven't been using a case on my phone at all. Um, what I do is I, I leave the... Uh, Oops. <laughs> Stop that. Ah! I'll just leave this thing stuck in here, in the, in the car. There you go. I'll take the phone with me like that. And uh, it's just nicer to hold and a bit, bit easier to hold. And then I come in and slot it in when I need to. Um, that has uh, come back to haunt me, however, because I then promptly dropped my phone a couple of days ago made a tiny little nick mark on the corner, it's hardly visible, but still, it wasn't fun. It's always, that first scratch always hurts. Anyhow, I'll leave it at that. Thank you. Bye-bye.